Hey and welcome to Never Into With Aragon. So with module 26 on the previous server, we can see a whole bunch of new things. Now, if we check the calendar, we can see the upcoming schedule of how things are gonna pan out. In just three days, we're getting the Jubilee event. You'll be able to pick up a bunch of free rewards from there, including a legendary companion choice pack and some VIP. Just be aware of the companions from the choice pack and don't buy them before this. But moving on, we have on July the 18th, the ability again to claim some more free rewards. Now this in alignment with the new battle pass between realms leads us to believe that module 26 will most likely be launching at this date in 36 days if you log in consecutively you'll obtain a bunch of rewards with that a title then after four days a coalescent mode and after seven days a new mount the dark butterfly wings nothing too special with its powers however you'll be able to use it for the ability to have four insignia slots allowing you to min max and potentially get this insignia bonuses you want so that's very good to see. And the battle pass hasn't been finalized yet with regards to the third Pacific activity, which usually aligns with the module, whether that being heroic encounters in the new zone, or it could be here doing abyssal hunts in a new zone as they are new for this module. But additionally, we have then a few weeks later than that, the summer festival. And this will give us the ability to get a new mount the Slab of Vecna. The mount itself is pretty cool, a bit like a hoverboard. We've seen them before last year, but again, from the Wondrous Bazaar, and it has some pretty cool powers. It's got the Wicked Lich, giving you the ability to deal a massive hit, along with giving you a damage bonus. For some classes, this could be really powerful, increasing your burst potential within an artifact call. Additionally, with its stats, of course, it has four insignia slots, allowing you to, yeah, gain that item level boost through a fourth insignia. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a universal one, so you're pretty much stuck with this giving Protector's Covenant with like the two barbs, Illuminator and Regal, unless you want to switch off from using the preferred one. So some pretty good news with that, some things to look forward to. You're getting a few sp other sprinkling of events throughout like the celebration of Lyra between now and the next module. And yes, Neverwinter's recruitment event colliding with the new module does make sense as well, incentivizing you to upgrade new characters or to just create a character in the first place and try out Neverwinter and get some additional bonuses for leveling. Now on other news, there will be some updates to the Astro Lockbox. There is still no confirmed date when this is returning, along with, let's say, the trade bar discount. We really need that by now. But it'll have two new things for going, going for it. The pink sylph wings and the new kingfisher intern. Those will be two new items I'm pretty excited to test out and see how they perform and if they have anything new going for them. But I'll keep you guys posted when I can. Module 26 seems like a pretty filled module. An entire new zone, a new hunt system, masterwork gear, different gear here and there you can get through the zone as well then a new dungeon plenty of things you can get from there too yeah there's a lot going on along with colliding with events and giveaways of free items so on and so forth with that special thank you to all these channel members for their added support and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now